the innocent laundry day discovery. In a quiet suburban neighborhood, nestled among the neatly trimmed lawns and white picket fences, lived Cameron. He was a man of petite stature, with delicate features and a naturally feminine body size that had always set him apart from others. He enjoyed a simple life, working from home as a freelance graphic designer and spending his weekends tinkering with his collection of vintage comic books. One sunny Saturday morning, Cameron decided to tackle the ever-mounting laundry pile that had taken over their cozy home. Sophie, his girlfriend, was away visiting her parents, leaving him alone with the mundane task. He filled the washing machine with clothes, carefully sorting them into piles. As he reached the bottom of the laundry basket, his fingers brushed against something silky and unfamiliar. Cameron furrowed his brow, his curiosity piqued. He pulled out the item and found himself holding an elegant silk chemise, delicate and adorned with intricate lace. It was unlike anything he'd ever seen in their laundry before. Cameron's heart raced as he examined the intimate garment. The soft, whispery fabric seemed out of place among his t-shirts and jeans. He wondered why Sophie would hide such a thing, as he'd never seen her wear anything like it. His mind raced with questions. Had she bought this recently? Was it a surprise she had planned for their relationship? Or was there something more to it? A sense of unease settled over him, and he couldn't ignore the knot of anxiety building in his stomach. As Cameron stood there, holding the silk chemise in his hands, he heard Sophie's car pull into the driveway. Panic surged through him, and he quickly stuffed the mysterious clothing item into the laundry basket, hoping to address it later. He knew he needed to confront Sophie about it, but the right words eluded him, and he feared her reaction. Sophie entered the house, her cheerful demeanor unchanged from when she'd left earlier that day. Hey, babe, she exclaimed, leaning in to give Cameron a quick kiss on the cheek. Miss me? Cameron managed a weak smile and nodded. Of course, I did, he replied, trying to sound nonchalant while inwardly struggling with the secret he held. Sophie's presence filled the room with warmth as she kicked off her shoes and hung up her coat. I brought some leftovers from my parents' place. We can heat them up for dinner, she said, her voice sweet and inviting. Cameron, still feeling the weight of the hidden silk chemise, followed Sophie into the kitchen. He watched as she effortlessly moved around, pulling containers of food from her bag and placing them in the fridge. Her presence had always been a source of comfort for him, but now, it was tinged with uncertainty. As they sat down to eat, Cameron couldn't help but steal glances at Sophie, wondering if she would bring up the laundry. She seemed completely at ease, chatting about her day and sharing stories from her visit with her parents. It was as if nothing out of the ordinary had happened. After dinner, Sophie suggested they watch a movie together on the couch. Cameron hesitated for a moment, torn between addressing the silk chemise and trying to enjoy a peaceful evening with his girlfriend. In the end, he chose to wait, not wanting to ruin the moment. As the movie played on the screen, Cameron's mind drifted back to the laundry room. He thought about the silk chemise and what it could mean. He knew he couldn't keep it a secret for long, it was only a matter of time before it would come between them. But the fear of what Sophie might reveal weighed heavily on him. The movie ended, and Sophie stretched her arms above her head. I'm getting pretty tired, she said, stifling a yawn. I think I'll head to bed. You coming? Cameron nodded and followed her to the bedroom. As they got ready for bed, he couldn't help but feel a growing sense of unease. Sophie climbed under the covers, and Cameron hesitated by the bedside, his thoughts swirling. Finally, unable to contain his curiosity any longer, he blurted out, Sophie, there's something I found today, and I don't know how to bring it up. Sophie turned to him, her brow furrowing in concern. What is it, Cameron? You can tell me anything. Cameron took a deep breath and retrieved the silk chemise from the laundry basket. He held it out for her to see, his voice trembling. I found this in the laundry. It's not mine, and I've never seen you wear anything like it. I don't understand. Sophie's eyes widened as she took the chemise from him. She examined it for a moment before setting it aside. Her expression was unreadable, and Cameron couldn't tell if she was angry, embarrassed, or something else entirely. Finally, she spoke, her voice calm but tinged with a hint of hesitation. Cameron, there's something I need to tell you. That chemise belongs to me, but it's not what you might think. 
Cameron's heart pounded in his chest as he waited for Sophie to explain. He had no idea where this conversation was going, but he was relieved that she wasn't reacting with anger. Sophie took a deep breath. I've been keeping something from you, something I wasn't sure how to share. That chemise is part of a fantasy, a desire I've had for a while. It's a symbol of something I've been wanting to explore. Cameron's mind raced as he tried to process what Sophie was saying. What do you mean, a fantasy? What are you trying to explore? Sophie looked down at her hands, her fingers nervously playing with the edge of the bedsheet. Cameron, I've always been drawn to the idea of role reversal, of taking on a dominant role in our relationship. I want to explore a different dynamic, one where I'm in control. Cameron was taken aback by Sophie's confession. He had never imagined that she had such desires. The idea of a dominant Sophie was both intriguing and intimidating. Sophie continued, her voice soft and vulnerable. I don't want to force anything on you, Cameron. But I thought that maybe we could explore this together, at least in some small way. That chemise was a first step, a way of testing the waters. Cameron's mind whirled with conflicting emotions. He cared deeply for Sophie, and he wanted to make her happy, but the idea of giving up control and embracing a submissive role was daunting. Sophie reached out and took Cameron's hand, her eyes searching his for understanding. Cameron, please know that I love you, and I don't want to do anything that makes you uncomfortable. We can take this as slowly as you need. It's just a fantasy, after all. Cameron considered Sophie's words, his heart torn between his love for her and his fear of the unknown. Finally, he spoke, his voice trembling but sincere. I love you too, Sophie, and I'm willing to try to understand this fantasy of yours. But can we promise to communicate openly and honestly about our feelings as we explore this new dynamic? Sophie smiled, a mixture of relief and gratitude in her eyes. Of course, Cameron. We'll take it one step at a time, and we'll always talk about how we're feeling. I don't want anything to come between us. As Cameron and Sophie settled into bed, the silk chemise lay forgotten on the nightstand. The weight of the unspoken desires and fears hung in the air, but in that moment, they both felt a deep connection, a willingness to navigate the uncharted territory of their relationship together. Little did they know that the discovery of the silk chemise would be the catalyst for an unexpected journey, one that would challenge their understanding of love, trust, and the complexities of human desire. Sophie's Whimsical Command the morning sun filtered through the curtains, casting a warm glow over the bedroom as Cameron and Sophie woke up. After their late-night conversation about Sophie's fantasy of exploring a dominant role, a sense of anticipation hung in the air. Cameron couldn't help but wonder what the day would bring. As they lay in bed, tangled in each other's arms, Sophie propped herself up on one elbow and looked deep into Cameron's eyes. Cameron, she began, her voice soft and filled with vulnerability, I want to start exploring this fantasy with you. Are you still willing to give it a try? Cameron nodded, his heart pounding with a mix of excitement and nervousness. Yes, Sophie, I am. But I need to know more about what you have in mind, what you want me to do. Sophie smiled, her fingers tracing a gentle path along Cameron's jawline. I appreciate your willingness, Cameron. For now, let's start with something simple. I want to help you embrace your more feminine side. I'll teach you about makeup, fashion, and hairstyling. You don't have to change who you are, but just explore this side of yourself with me." Cameron took a deep breath, feeling a sense of relief that Sophie's request seemed manageable. That sounds okay, he replied, his voice slightly hesitant. But I'm not sure where to begin. Sophie leaned in and kissed him tenderly. Don't worry, love. We'll take it one step at a time. Today, let's start with makeup. I have some cosmetics that we can use, and I'll show you the basics. With a newfound sense of purpose, Cameron and Sophie got out of bed and made their way to the bathroom. Sophie's eyes sparkled with excitement as she gathered her makeup supplies. She sat Cameron down in front of the mirror and began explaining the intricacies of foundation, eyeshadow, and lipstick. As Sophie expertly applied makeup to Cameron's face, her hands were gentle and reassuring. She explained each step in detail, from concealing imperfections to enhancing features. Cameron watched himself transform in the mirror, feeling a mix of fascination and vulnerability. 
Once the makeup was complete, Cameron gazed at his reflection in amazement. He looked different, softer, and more feminine. It was as if a new version of himself had emerged. Sophie's eyes met his in the mirror, and she smiled, a mixture of pride and affection in her gaze. Cameron, you look stunning, Sophie whispered, her voice filled with genuine admiration. You've always had such beautiful features, and the makeup just enhances your natural beauty. Cameron blushed at the compliment, still coming to terms with the unfamiliar image in the mirror. Thank you, Sophie. This is all so new to me. Sophie leaned in and kissed him softly. I know, love, but you're doing great. And remember, we're in this together. After the makeup lesson, Sophie guided Cameron to the walk-in closet. The room was filled with an array of clothing, some of which Cameron had never seen before. Dresses, blouses, skirts, and high heels filled the shelves. Today, we'll explore fashion, Sophie announced, her eyes gleaming with excitement. I want you to pick out an outfit that makes you feel beautiful and feminine. Cameron hesitated, feeling a surge of self-consciousness. He had never worn women's clothing before, and the idea was both thrilling and intimidating. Sophie sensed his hesitation and placed a reassuring hand on his shoulder. Cameron, it's okay, to be unsure, she said gently. This is about exploring and discovering what feels right for you. There's no judgment here. With Sophie's support, Cameron began to browse the clothing options. He selected a knee-length floral dress in soft pastel colors. The fabric felt cool and silky against his skin as he slipped it on. Sophie helped him fasten the buttons at the back, her fingers deft and gentle. When Cameron looked at himself in the full-length mirror, he was met with a sight he had never imagined. The dress accentuated his curves, and he felt a surge of femininity that both excited and bewildered him. Sophie's eyes sparkled with approval. You look absolutely lovely, Cameron. That dress suits you perfectly. Cameron blushed, still adjusting to the idea of wearing women's clothing. Thank you, Sophie. It's just… I never thought I'd be doing any of this. Sophie smiled and approached him, her fingers brushing a loose strand of hair away from his face. Life is full of surprises, Cameron. Embracing new experiences can be liberating. And remember, it's all about exploring, not about changing who you are. As the day went on, Sophie introduced Cameron to the world of hairstyling, teaching him how to create soft waves and intricate updos. She was patient and encouraging, and Cameron began to realize that there was a certain artistry to it, a creative expression he had never explored before. By the end of the day, Cameron had undergone a remarkable transformation. His makeup was expertly applied, his outfit carefully chosen, and his hair styled with elegance. He looked and felt like a different person, yet deep down, he knew he was still Cameron. As evening approached, Sophie led Cameron to the living room, where a few of her friends were waiting. Cameron's heart raced as he entered the room, feeling a mixture of excitement and nervousness. Sophie introduced him with a proud smile. Everyone, this is Cameron. He's been exploring a new side of himself today, and I thought it would be nice for you all to meet him. Cameron greeted Sophie's friends with a mixture of shyness and curiosity. They were all welcoming, complimenting his appearance and engaging him in conversation. Sophie's presence by his side provided a reassuring anchor, and as the evening went on, he began to relax. As the night continued, Sophie suggested they play a game of charades. Cameron hesitated, feeling a pang of self-doubt. Sophie leaned in and whispered in his ear, You've already come so far today, Cameron. You can do this. With Sophie's encouragement, Cameron joined in the game. He took on the challenge of acting out various words and phrases, his gestures and expressions becoming more animated with each round. Laughter filled the room as they guessed the charades, and Cameron found himself enjoying the experience. As the evening came to a close, Sophie's friends expressed their delight at meeting Cameron and praised him for his bravery in exploring new facets of himself. Cameron felt a newfound sense of acceptance and camaraderie among Sophie's friends. When they were alone again, Cameron turned to Sophie, a mixture of gratitude and uncertainty in his eyes. Today has been, overwhelming, Sophie. I never expected any of this. Sophie took his hand in hers and looked deeply into his eyes. Cameron, I'm so proud of you for being open to this journey with me. 
Remember, we're taking it one step at a time, and you can always tell me if you need a break or if something doesn't feel right. Cameron nodded, a sense of trust growing between them. I appreciate that, Sophie. I'm willing to explore this with you, but I want to make sure we're both comfortable every step of the way. Sophie leaned in and kissed him softly. That's all I could ask for, Cameron. We're in this together, and I love you for that. As they settled into bed, Cameron reflected on the whirlwind day. He had ventured into uncharted territory, exploring aspects of himself he had never considered before. It was a journey of self-discovery, one that would test the limits of his comfort zone and the boundaries of his relationship with Sophie. But as he drifted off to sleep, he couldn't help but wonder what the future held. What other surprises awaited him on this path of exploration, and how would it continue to transform him and his relationship with Sophie? Only time would tell, and Cameron was prepared to face it with an open heart and an open mind. The Unforeseen Transformation Days turned into weeks, and Cameron found himself fully immersed in the journey of feminization guided by Sophie. Each morning brought new challenges and discoveries, and he couldn't help but marvel at the gradual transformation he was undergoing. One sunny morning, Cameron and Sophie stood in front of the full-length mirror in their bedroom. Cameron was dressed in a stylish blouse and a knee-length skirt, his makeup expertly applied to enhance his delicate features. Sophie stood beside him, her eyes filled with pride. You look absolutely stunning, Cameron, Sophie remarked, her voice filled with admiration. You've come a long way in such a short time. Cameron blushed at the compliment, still adjusting to his newfound femininity. Thank you, Sophie. It's all so different from what I'm used to, but I can't deny that it's been an interesting journey. Sophie leaned in and kissed him softly. I'm so grateful that you're willing to explore this with me. It means the world to me, Cameron. As the weeks passed, Cameron's routine became a blend of feminine tasks and lessons from Sophie. He had become proficient at makeup application, and he could style his hair in various ways. Sophie taught him the art of choosing the right colors to complement his complexion and the importance of accessorizing to complete a look. One afternoon, Sophie suggested they go shopping for new clothing. Cameron had grown more comfortable with the idea of wearing women's attire, and he welcomed the opportunity to add to his wardrobe. They arrived at a trendy boutique, where Sophie expertly navigated the aisles, selecting a variety of dresses, blouses, skirts, and accessories for Cameron to try on. Cameron marveled at the vibrant colors and patterns, realizing how fashion could be a form of self-expression he had never explored before. In the fitting room, Cameron tried on outfit after outfit, each one transforming him into a different persona. Some were playful and flirty, while others were elegant and sophisticated. Sophie offered feedback and advice, helping him choose pieces that made him feel confident and beautiful. As Cameron modeled a knee-length cocktail dress, Sophie couldn't hide her delight. You look like a movie star, Cameron. This dress is perfect for you. Cameron twirled in front of the mirror, the skirt of the dress swirling around him. I've never imagined myself in something like this. It's incredible how clothing can change how you feel about yourself. Sophie smiled warmly. Exactly, love. Fashion is a form of self-expression, and it's all about feeling comfortable and confident in your own skin. With their shopping bags filled with new additions to Cameron's wardrobe, they left the boutique. Cameron felt a sense of excitement and liberation, as if he had unlocked a new part of himself that had long been dormant. Back at home, Cameron's transformation continued as he embraced more aspects of his feminine persona. Sophie introduced him to skincare routines and the art of nail care. She taught him the importance of self-care and self-love, emphasizing that embracing his femininity didn't mean neglecting his well-being. As the days passed, Cameron began to notice subtle changes in himself beyond his physical appearance. He found himself more in tune with his emotions, his sensitivity deepening. He also realized that his relationship with Sophie was evolving in unexpected ways. One evening, as they sat together on the couch, Cameron opened up to Sophie about his feelings. Sophie, this journey has been eye-opening for me. I feel like I'm learning not just about femininity but about myself as well. Sophie turned to him, her eyes filled with curiosity. Tell me more, Cameron. I'm here to listen. Cameron took a deep breath, his words measured and sincere. I've always been someone who's been in control, who's had a sense of independence. 
but through this journey, I'm discovering a different kind of strength and vulnerability. It's like I'm peeling back layers of myself and finding something beautiful beneath. Sophie smiled, her understanding evident. Cameron, that's such a profound insight. Embracing your vulnerability can be empowering in its own way. It takes strength to allow yourself to be open and authentic. Their conversation deepened, and Cameron shared his growing appreciation for the complexities of femininity and the strength he saw in women who navigated a world that often imposed rigid expectations. Sophie listened intently, touched by his words and proud of the progress he was making. As the weeks turned into months, Cameron's transformation became more pronounced. He had embraced his femininity with grace and confidence, and he felt a sense of liberation in expressing himself authentically. Yet, he couldn't help but wonder about the next steps in their journey. One evening, over a candlelit dinner Sophie had prepared, Cameron broached the topic. Sophie, I've been thinking about what comes next in our exploration. What do you have in mind? Sophie placed her fork down and looked into Cameron's eyes, her expression thoughtful. Cameron, we've come a long way, and I'm so proud of you. But I think it's time for us to delve deeper into this fantasy. I want to explore the idea of dominance and submission more fully. Cameron's heart raced at Sophie's words. The prospect of taking their exploration to a new level both intrigued and intimidated him. What do you mean, Sophie? How would that work? Sophie explained her vision, her voice gentle but resolute. I want to continue guiding you, Cameron, but in a more dominant role. I'll give you commands, and I want you to follow them without question. It's about surrendering to my desires and trusting me completely. Cameron's mind whirled with a mix of emotions. He cared deeply for Sophie, and he had come this far in their journey, but the idea of relinquishing control was both thrilling and frightening. Sophie placed a reassuring hand on his. Cameron, remember that this is all consensual, and we'll communicate openly about our feelings every step of the way. If at any point you're uncomfortable, we'll stop. It's about trust and exploration. Cameron nodded, feeling a sense of trust in Sophie that ran deep. Okay, Sophie. I'm willing to take this next step with you. Let's explore this fantasy together. Sophie smiled, a mixture of excitement and tenderness in her gaze. Thank you, Cameron. This journey has been a remarkable one, and I'm grateful to have you by my side. As they finished their dinner, a sense of anticipation filled the room. Cameron knew that the path ahead would challenge him in ways he couldn't predict, but he was ready to embrace the unknown, knowing that Sophie would be there to guide him every step of the way. Little did Cameron realize that their journey was about to take an even more unexpected and transformative turn, one that would push the boundaries of their relationship and redefine the roles they had come to know. The days ahead held new challenges and discoveries, and Cameron was prepared to face them with courage and an open heart. The Humiliation As the weeks passed, Cameron and Sophie delved deeper into their exploration of dominance and submission. Sophie had taken on a more assertive role, and Cameron found himself following her commands with unwavering obedience. It was a delicate dance of trust and surrender, one that pushed the boundaries of their relationship. One evening, Cameron stood in the living room, wearing a skimpy French maid's outfit that Sophie had chosen for him. His cheeks burned with embarrassment as he held a feather duster in his hand, waiting for Sophie's instructions. Sophie entered the room, her presence commanding and dominant. She circled Cameron, her eyes appraising him with a mischievous glint. You make such a pretty maid, Cameron, she remarked, her voice dripping with authority. Cameron's heart raced as he tried to maintain his composure. This was part of the fantasy they were exploring, and he had agreed to it willingly. But the reality of being dressed in such a revealing outfit and performing household chores in front of Sophie was both humiliating and thrilling. Sophie handed him a list of tasks, each one more trivial than the last. Dusting the shelves, arranging the throw pillows, and polishing the coffee table were all on the agenda. Cameron diligently set about his duties, his movements graceful and submissive. As he dusted, Sophie reclined on the couch, watching him with amusement. That's it, Cameron. Make sure you get every nook and cranny. I want this room spotless. Cameron's cheeks flushed with humiliation as he obediently dusted every surface. 
He couldn't help but feel vulnerable and exposed in his revealing outfit, and yet, a part of him found a strange satisfaction in serving Sophie's whims. After completing his tasks, Cameron stood before Sophie, awaiting her approval. She examined his work with a critical eye before nodding in satisfaction. Well done, my little maid. You may have a break now. Cameron sighed with relief, grateful for a moment's respite. He retreated to the kitchen, his heart still racing from the experience. As he sipped a glass of water, he couldn't help but reflect on how far their journey had taken them. Sophie joined him in the kitchen, her demeanor shifting from dominant to caring. She placed a gentle hand on his shoulder and looked into his eyes. Cameron, I want you to know how much I appreciate your willingness to explore this fantasy with me. I know it's not easy. Cameron nodded, feeling a mix of emotions. It's been, challenging, Sophie, but also strangely liberating in its own way. I trust you, and that's what's been carrying me through. Sophie smiled warmly, her affection for him evident. I'm glad to hear that, Cameron. Trust is the foundation of what we're doing. We're learning about ourselves and each other in ways we never imagined. Their conversation was interrupted by a knock at the door. Sophie excused herself to answer it, leaving Cameron to ponder the complexities of their relationship. He had come to realize that submission didn't equate to weakness, it required a deep inner strength and a profound trust in one's partner. When Sophie returned, she was accompanied by a few of her friends. Cameron's heart raced as he greeted them, his maid's outfit and the memory of his recent chores adding to his embarrassment. Sophie's friends settled into the living room, their laughter filling the air. They chatted and enjoyed snacks while Cameron discreetly attended to their needs, serving drinks and ensuring their comfort. It was a strange and surreal experience, but Cameron's submission to Sophie's desires seemed to amuse her friends. As the evening progressed, Sophie suggested they play a game of cards. Cameron joined in, his cheeks flushed with self-consciousness as he shuffled the deck and dealt the cards. He did his best to focus on the game, trying to ignore the amused glances and occasional teasing from Sophie's friends. As the night wore on, Sophie's friends began to depart, bidding Cameron farewell with playful smiles and compliments on his performance as their maid. Cameron, though still embarrassed, felt a sense of accomplishment. He had embraced his submissive role and endured the teasing with grace. After her friends had left, Sophie turned to Cameron, a mixture of pride and affection in her eyes. You did wonderfully, Cameron. I'm so proud of you for embracing this role. Cameron smiled, feeling a sense of connection with Sophie that went beyond the humiliation he had experienced. Thank you, Sophie. It's all part of this journey we're on, and I'm learning a lot about myself in the process. Sophie leaned in and kissed him softly. I love you, Cameron, and I appreciate your willingness to explore with me. We'll continue to communicate openly about our feelings as we navigate this path together. As the days passed, Cameron and Sophie settled into a routine that balanced their exploration of dominance and submission with the tenderness and love that had always defined their relationship. Cameron had become more comfortable with his submissive role, and Sophie had learned to appreciate the trust and vulnerability it required. One evening, as they lay in bed, Cameron turned to Sophie with a question that had been on his mind. Sophie, I've been thinking about the next steps in our journey. What do you have in mind for us? Sophie's eyes sparkled with anticipation. Cameron, I think it's time for us to explore a deeper level of submission. I want you to trust me completely, to surrender control even more. Cameron's heart raced at the prospect of taking their exploration to a new level. What would that entail, Sophie? How can I surrender even more control? Sophie explained her vision, her voice soft and reassuring. Cameron, I want you to trust me with your decisions, big and small. I want you to seek my approval for everything you do, to rely on me completely. It's about relinquishing control and embracing your submission. Cameron nodded, feeling a mixture of excitement and nervousness. This was a significant step in their journey, one that would test the limits of his comfort zone and the boundaries of their relationship. Sophie reached out and took his hand in hers. Cameron, I want you to know that I will always cherish and protect you. This journey is about trust, love, and exploration, and we'll navigate it together every step of the way. As they settled into sleep, Cameron couldn't help but wonder about the challenges and discoveries that lay ahead. 
The path of submission was an intricate one, and he was prepared to face it with courage, trust, and an open heart. Little did he realize that their exploration of dominance and submission was about to take an unexpected turn, one that would push the boundaries of their relationship in ways neither of them thought possible. The Personal Transformation As Cameron and Sophie continued to navigate the complexities of their journey into dominance and submission, they found themselves faced with new challenges and revelations that tested the boundaries of their relationship. Each day brought both moments of exhilaration and moments of introspection. One morning, Cameron sat at the breakfast table, sipping his coffee, and staring out the window as the sunlight streamed in. He had been contemplating the changes in his life and how far he had come since that innocent laundry day discovery. The makeup, the clothing, the role play, it had all pushed him to explore aspects of himself he had never imagined. Sophie entered the room, her presence grounding him. She smiled warmly as she poured herself a cup of coffee and took a seat across from him. Deep in thought again, love? Cameron nodded, his gaze meeting hers. Yes, Sophie. I've been reflecting on our journey and the changes it's brought into our lives. It's been both exhilarating and challenging. Sophie reached across the table and took Cameron's hand in hers. I understand, Cameron. Our journey has been unconventional, but it's also been a source of growth and exploration for both of us. Cameron squeezed Sophie's hand, his voice filled with gratitude. I'm grateful for the opportunity to explore this with you, Sophie. But I can't help but wonder about the future and where this path is leading us. Sophie's eyes held a mixture of reassurance and understanding. I know, love. We've pushed boundaries and discovered new facets of ourselves, and it's only natural to question what's next. Whatever comes, we'll face it together. Their conversation turned to more practical matters as they discussed the day's plans. Cameron had grown accustomed to the routine of their exploration, from selecting outfits to engaging in various roleplay scenarios. However, he couldn't help but wonder if there were more profound changes on the horizon. As the day unfolded, Cameron and Sophie decided to go for a walk in the nearby park. The fresh air and the beauty of nature offered a welcome respite from the complexities of their journey. Cameron found solace in the simplicity of the moment, the sensation of the sun on his skin, and the rustling of leaves in the gentle breeze. As they strolled hand in hand, Cameron turned to Sophie, his voice soft. Sophie, I've been thinking about our exploration and how it's changed me. I've discovered a newfound appreciation for vulnerability and self-expression, but I've also had moments of doubt and confusion. Sophie nodded, her gaze fixed on the path ahead. It's completely natural to have doubts, Cameron. What we're doing is unconventional, and it challenges societal norms. But it's also about self-discovery and personal growth. Cameron continued, his words measured but sincere. I've learned so much about myself, Sophie, but I've also realized that there's a difference between embracing aspects of my feminine side and feeling like I've lost a part of myself in the process. Sophie paused, her expression thoughtful. Cameron, I hear what you're saying. Our journey has been about exploring different aspects of your identity, but it should never make you feel like you've lost yourself. I want you to always feel like you have the power to define your boundaries. They reached a quiet spot in the park, where they could sit on a bench and continue their conversation. Cameron turned to Sophie, his eyes filled with sincerity. I want to continue this journey with you, Sophie, but I also want to ensure that we're both growing in a way that feels right for us. Can we explore what this means for our relationship and where we go from here? Sophie smiled warmly, a mixture of love and admiration in her gaze. Cameron, I'm so grateful that you're willing to have this conversation with me. I want our journey to be a source of growth and fulfillment for both of us, and I'm open to exploring what that looks like moving forward. As they sat together, their conversation delved into the heart of their relationship. They talked about their desires, their boundaries, and their dreams for the future. Cameron expressed his desire to strike a balance between embracing his feminine side and preserving his sense of self. Sophie listened attentively, her heart open to Cameron's concerns. Cameron, I want you to know that I love you for who you are, and I don't want you to feel like you have to change yourself to fit a certain mold. Our journey is about self-discovery, but it should also be about self-acceptance. Cameron felt a sense of relief wash over him as he realized the depth of Sophie's understanding and support. Thank you, Sophie. 
Your willingness to have this conversation means the world to me. I want to continue exploring and growing with you, but I also want to ensure that we're both fulfilled in the process. Their conversation marked a turning point in their journey, as they committed to a more balanced and authentic exploration of their desires. They agreed to be mindful of each other's boundaries and to communicate openly about their feelings and experiences. In the weeks that followed, Cameron and Sophie's exploration took on a new dimension. They continued to embrace aspects of femininity, but they also incorporated more elements of self-expression and self-acceptance into their journey. Cameron found himself pursuing hobbies and interests that had long been dormant, discovering a sense of fulfillment in rekindling his passion for vintage comic books and graphic design. Sophie, in turn, explored her own desires for personal growth and creativity, embarking on new artistic endeavors. Their relationship deepened as they navigated this new phase of their journey together, grounded in mutual respect and a commitment to authenticity. They cherished the bond they had built and the strength they had found in each other. One evening, as they sat together in their cozy living room, Cameron turned to Sophie with a smile. Sophie, I've learned so much on this journey, and I'm grateful for the person it's helped me become. Sophie's eyes sparkled with affection. And I'm grateful for the person you are, Cameron. Our journey may have taken unexpected turns, but it strengthened our bond and deepened our love. Cameron reached for Sophie's hand, their fingers interlocking in a gesture of connection and understanding. I'm excited to see where life takes us next, Sophie, and I know that whatever comes, we'll face it together. As they sat in the quiet of their home, the future stretched before them, filled with possibilities and the promise of continued growth and self-discovery. Their journey had been unconventional, but it had also been a testament to the power of love, trust, and the capacity for personal transformation. The Uncharted Territory Cameron and Sophie's journey had evolved in unexpected ways, leading them to a more balanced exploration of their desires and personal growth. They had learned to communicate openly and honestly, cherishing their deepening bond as they navigated the complexities of their relationship. One sunny morning, Cameron and Sophie found themselves in their cozy kitchen, sipping coffee and discussing their plans for the day. It had been a few months since their heartfelt conversation in the park, and their journey had taken a more authentic and fulfilling turn. Cameron leaned against the kitchen counter, his eyes filled with a sense of contentment. Sophie, I've been thinking about our journey and how much we've grown together. It's been transformative in so many ways. Sophie smiled, her gaze tender as she reached out to touch Cameron's cheek. I feel the same way, love. We've faced challenges and discoveries together, and our bond has only grown stronger. Their conversation turned to the future, as Cameron expressed his desire to explore new horizons and experiences beyond the confines of their home. Sophie, I've discovered a sense of liberation in embracing my feminine side, and I want to take that confidence into the world. I want to see what lies beyond our comfort zone. Sophie nodded in agreement, her voice filled with encouragement. Cameron, I support your desire to explore the world outside. It's important for both of us to continue growing as individuals. With Sophie's support, Cameron began taking steps to explore the world beyond their home. He attended local support groups for individuals on similar journeys of self-discovery and self-acceptance. It was a chance for him to connect with others who had faced similar challenges and triumphs. As Cameron shared his experiences and listened to the stories of others, he realized the profound impact of their journey. It was not just about embracing femininity, it was about embracing vulnerability, self-acceptance, and the beauty of authenticity. One evening, as Cameron returned from a support group meeting, he sat down with Sophie to share his thoughts. Sophie, I've met some incredible people in the support group. Their stories are a testament to the power of self-acceptance and the strength that comes from embracing vulnerability. Sophie listened intently, her eyes filled with pride. That's wonderful to hear, Cameron. Our journey has not only been about self-discovery but also about building a community of support and understanding. Their exploration extended to travel as well. Cameron and Sophie embarked on a journey to a foreign country, immersing themselves in new cultures and experiences. Cameron relished the opportunity to explore new places and meet people from diverse backgrounds, all while embracing his authentic self. As they wandered through bustling markets, tried exotic cuisines, and connected with locals, Cameron felt a sense of liberation and fulfillment he had never known before. 
it was a testament to the growth and self-acceptance he had achieved on their journey. One evening, as they sat on a balcony overlooking a vibrant cityscape, Cameron turned to Sophie with a smile. Sophie, this trip has been eye-opening for me. I've discovered a sense of freedom and self-acceptance that I never thought possible. Sophie's eyes shimmered with affection. Cameron, I'm so proud of how far you've come. Our journey has been about embracing who we truly are and finding fulfillment in authenticity. Their travels continued, taking them to distant lands and exotic destinations. Cameron's sense of adventure and self-assurance continued to grow, and he relished each new experience as an opportunity for personal growth. Yet, even as they explored the world together, Cameron and Sophie never lost sight of the importance of their connection and communication. They continued to nurture their relationship, cherishing the deep bond they had forged through their unconventional journey. Back at home, they settled into a routine that balanced their individual growth with their shared experiences. Cameron continued to explore his feminine side, occasionally experimenting with makeup and fashion, but always in a way that felt true to himself. One evening, as they prepared dinner together in their cozy kitchen, Cameron turned to Sophie with a thoughtful expression. Sophie, I've learned so much about myself on this journey, and I'm grateful for the growth it's brought into our lives. But I also wonder where we go from here. Sophie smiled, her eyes filled with affection. Cameron, our journey is an ongoing one, and it can take us wherever we choose to go. It's about continuing to explore, discover, and grow, both individually and as a couple. Cameron nodded, his voice sincere. I love you, Sophie, and I'm excited to see where our journey takes us next. Sophie reached out and took Cameron's hand in hers, their fingers interlocking in a gesture of connection and commitment. I love you too, Cameron. Our journey is a testament to the power of love, trust, and the capacity for personal transformation. As they enjoyed their meal together, Cameron and Sophie knew that their journey was far from over. It was a journey of self-discovery, growth, and acceptance, a journey that had pushed the boundaries of their relationship and redefined the roles they had come to know. But they faced the future with courage and an open heart, ready to embrace whatever adventures and challenges lay ahead. Their love was a constant source of strength, and they knew that as long as they walked this path together, they could face anything that came their way. The journey of Cameron and Sophie was a testament to the power of love and the beauty of embracing authenticity, vulnerability, and personal growth. It was a journey that had led them to uncharted territory, where they discovered the true depth of their connection and the limitless potential of their love.